as kids our parents used to say that if we wanted a good job and a good life we had to go to college and because parents are always right we thought it was the path to follow but with the increase in tuition fee the increase in students going to college and the arrival of internet maybe college isn't the solution that's what we're going to try to find out in today's video i hope you have a good one society has rules and the first rule is you go to college mm -hmm. you want to have a happy and successful life you go to college if you want to be somebody you go to college if you want to fit in you go to college let's say eight years ago world war ii just ended and right after the Cold War just began, so probably one of the worst periods to be alive. However, if you tried to change your social category, it was probably one of the best moments in history. Why? First of all, like I said, World War II, so a lot of people died. But also because of the Cold War, two superpowers competing against each other to be at the top of the world and what better way to dominate than to have the most educated population in the world because let's not forget the past decades were decades of technological progress social progress and many more to prepare your population to those new changes but also to make sure they can understand it and use them you need to invest in your education system and that's what those governments did so imagine your granddad comes from a family of farmers because the government invested in education, he had the possibility to go to high school, finish high school, be the first one to go to college, get a degree and start a family business. Imagine the income of the household was a thousand dollars. Because he got a degree, he was able to get 15K, okay? And then your granddad has a kid and your granddad wa wants the best thing for your kid, the best life. So he'll tell him to go to college because listen, I came from a poor family. Who cares today? You know how? Because I went to college. So you go and do the same thing. So you make sure you have the best life possible. So the kid goes to college, gets a degree, takes the family business and multiplies the, the profit by let's say 15 just because of the knowledge that the kid acquired by going to college now the kid has you and as a good parent he'll try to give you the best tips for life so you can enjoy your life and he'll tell you to go to college because it worked for his dad it worked for him and they want to see you make it rain too they're just trying to build all money you know a dynasty so it's only normal they try to convince you to go to college because after all that's what made them rich. So when you go to college, even if you don't have a degree, just with one year, you can earn more money than someone who hasn't been to college. If you have a bachelor's degree, you make about 65% more than someone who doesn't. And with a master's degree, it's more like 100% more. And employers mainly pay attention to applications from people who have been to college. Look at me, I'm able to get this degree from Harvard, I'm smart, I'm hardworking, I'm willing to play by the rules. And when you do this, employers are impressed. So it's a minimum, they're a lot less likely to throw your application in the trash, because of course that's where most applications go. And also don't forget that social mobility is easier with a degree. You have a higher chance of changing social class when you have a degree. So you have all the reasons to go to college and get that degree. But then how can there be a problem with our generation? The first problem we're going to tackle is the tuition fee. Between 1980 to 2020, the tuition fee had a 169% increase. So it can discourage a lot of people from going to uni. And I can understand because not everyone wants to invest 120k for a degree that will not guarantee you a job. Bill tell me, that's not a problem. We can just call the bank, take a loan. And no matter how much uni increases the tuition fees, we can always have a loan. And that's true. But today, compared to four years ago, for the same job, instead of having 10 people applying, you have 100 people applying. That means that your chances of getting that job are divided because you face a fiercer competition than compared to four years ago you don't have the same guarantee to get that job because you had this degree that's why you gotta remember because it's easier for people to work abroad you might face a more prepared competition a more skilled competition or a more diverse i mean diverse competition with a more diverse set of skills so 
So that's why you gotta remember that despite the fact that you have the degree, it will not guarantee you a job in today's society. You know, here's Jim, the philosophy major, uh, who hasn't had a job in two years, and he lives in his mother's basement, or he lives in his whatever. And here's Joe, who Jim makes fun of because he doesn't have a college degree, making $85,000 a year as a lineman. He's cutting off Jim's electricity. And now it's time to tackle college's biggest op, which is internet. And the reason is simple. Imagine acquiring the same amount of knowledge that you would have had by going to college without going to college and staying on your couch. That's the magic of internet. You can basically learn the exact same thing that you would have learned in, in college without going to college. You can also become an influencer by starting a YouTube channel, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, wherever you want. You can invest in cryptocurrencies. You can buy NFTs without taking any finance classes. It completely changes the dynamics of learning, of education because college was the only way to truly have a good education. Either you had to study on your own, which was very difficult, or you had to go to college, but today it is not a requirement. You can learn all those skills by staying at home with your computer for free. That's why you see more people dropping out. That's why you see more people start a business because with the internet, you can learn what you need to do to start a business. So what is the point of going to college in today's society for our generation and now it's time for me to give you my point of view on college is it the most viable option or should you put all your eggs in the internet bag that's what we're going to find out let's talk about what higher education in america really is a racket that sells you a very expensive ticket to the upper middle class when you know that harvard can provide free tuition to their students for the next 120 years, you start to ask yourself if uni is just not about money at this point, because when you know that uni will most likely prioritize buildings, sport equipments, party life. The University of Missouri has a river grotto inspired by the Playboy Mansion. Over your own education, over finding good equipment that will facilitate you learning, books, actual professors that enjoy and know what they're talking about it makes me want to re reconsider my choice of going to uni because like my man bill said you pay 30k a year for them to invest that money in a swimming pool if i want to go to a swimming pool either i call a friend or i go to the local town pool but there's no way you're going to take my 30k that i took a loan for that shit. and the fact that colleges are ready to create useless degrees shows what they're capable of doing just for money because for example gender studies i have nothing against people doing gender studies but doing gender studies as a major will restrain the field of job that you can apply for when you go to college and you take a loan the goal is that the reward at the end must be higher than the risk but if the risk is to begin with higher you're already in a difficult situation if you do a degree with a restrained amount of job that you can do but high demand that's perfect that means it's rewarding but if you do a degree with a restrained amount of job that you can do an extremely low demand then the risk is so high that there is no point you got a master's degree in czechoslovakian medieval art that doesn't know why you're not gonna make money on this dude this is gonna be a long there's only one thing you can do with that become a professor of Czechoslovakian art. That's all you can do. There's no jobs for that except at Starbucks. You basically going to trap yourself in the student debt loan. I don't think you want to walk around with a boulder on your ankle because that's basically what you're going for. You have to understand that no matter how appealing the degree sounds, you got to compare the risk and reward because when you go to college, that basically the only thing that you must care about. And that shit is not what uni is supposed to be about. Uni is supposed to be about educating us to be useful for society. Not using us to pay the headmaster's vacation. That's why I'm asking myself, is it still worth it? Because honestly, they don't care about us. They make us pay a fortune to go there. And it's not even that worth it. I'm talking about the uni that will make you pay at least 10k. Because if college is free in your country, then that's not that much of an issue because you might waste some time if you don't like the degree, but at least you acquire some knowledge for free. Also, I do want to blame the media for selling us college as the best moment in someone's life 
because no one tells you the inconveniences or the risk of going to college but when you watch a teen movie based on college students it feels like the most incredible thing that can happen in your life but in fact it might be one of the worst period of your life that's what i wanted to mention out because no one warns you about the risk of going to uni i do think some jobs require to go to uni to learn the full amount of skills required for example you can become an accountant by learning on youtube that's completely true but if i'm in a life and death situation there is no way i'll entrust my life to someone who learn how to become a surgeon on YouTube. That is not possible. This is not a fifth grade class. That's why some jobs do require to go to uni. The idea behind this video is not to discourage people from going to uni or even to get people that are in uni or just graduated depressed. Oh, by the way, shout out to you if you just graduated. Shout out to you if you're in uni and shout out to the future generation that will have to pay 100K per year for their tuition fee. Good luck with this one. We all have that one friend who thinks because he went to that school and did that kind of degree that he'll have his life set forever because he'll earn like 20k per month like first year and so it goes on. You're facing a fiercer competition so don't expect to directly have a job because you went to that kind of school or did that kind of degree. You have to be realistic. Don't be delusional. It's not 1970 today, it's 2022. The competition is way, way tougher than four years ago. We ain't competing against plumbers today, bro. All I got to say is that it's the evil world we live in. If you want to drop out, be sure. If you're only thinking about dropping out because people like Bill Gates dropped out, you gotta drop the idea because they are geniuses. I do not say you're not a genius. I just say think carefully before dropping out because you think you're built different which can be true but at least be sure you know yourself by the way i do think student life is important because it is what helps you to rest also handle the pressure of exams and studying it gives you the possibility to meet new people discover new skills just like enjoy your life but that is not the priority don't remember uni is only four years i'm not paying 40k a year just to be in debt for the rest of my life for four years that's all the idea of this video is really to give a better hindsight to people and also make them realize the risk that you'll take by going to college if you take a loan because that is a subject that no one really goes deep into the conversation when you have it with your parents or with your school they'll only show you the good aspect of going to uni but never the risk that you'll be taking by going to uni and don't forget that college today is a business so they'll do anything in their capacity to please their consumers that's why they'll give you better grades than you actually deserve in 1960 colleges awarded a's to 15 percent of the students well now it's 45 percent and it's not because they got smarter it's because of Adderall. Colleges are businesses selling a consumer product for hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they want to give the customers what they want, a magical piece of paper called a diploma. After all of this, what is the solution? And honestly, I just think it depends on what you want to do. Like I said, some degrees do require to go to uni, but others don't. If you're not sure or don't have a clear idea, don't take the risk, at least not right away to take a loan and go to uni for example social interaction are a big part of uni but you can have social interaction online with people all around the world without paying anything however those interactions for some people might not be the same as having face-to-face -face interactions but in the end it really depends on if you have a clear vision of what your goal is but i think that's it for the video guys i hope you had a great time but also two weeks ago i was at a festival in belgium and i was supposed to do a public interview and uh, we had a little problem so the video won't come out but i just want to give a shout out to the people who participated in the interview big love to you and i hope to see you soon guys and have a good one and don't forget be sure because you're going to be alone if you get trapped <laughs>